Welcome back again, Rum Lovers. It's Jamie of Ready Set Rum. And again, my amazing co host today is Emmanuel. I'm back and I'm happy to be here. All right. So, my viewers have asked for me to do some more premium rums. Right. So, premium rums usually $70 up, you know, mm, yeah. more than that. You gotta think about it before you buy it kind of rum. Mm -hmm. And today we have Appleton Estate 21 year old. Now you're seeing two in front of us here just to show you the new packaging and the old packaging. But we're just gonna taste one because as far as I know, it's the same rum. All right, before I get further along, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you all for the viewers throughout the last year, year and something because finally I was able to be monetized on YouTube. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I haven't collected one dime as yet. That's okay, we just started, we just got monetized this week. Um, but thank you guys for looking at the videos, thank you guys for liking, thank you guys for sharing. So continue to do what you do and like and share some more, all right? Yep, okay. and so, it's holiday time, so yeah. season greetings everybody. Season greetings. We are going to enjoy here, mm -hmm. you can enjoy there. But enjoy it responsibly people correct all right so we have two different packaging in front of us today um backstory on apple estate it's been in existence since 1749 mm -hmm. in the nassau valley up in the hills in jamaica according to them it's in the heart of jamaica so um i went through all the history all the background all this kind of stuff previously on other videos so you can check out my other five videos about Appleton Estate all the way from the signature all the way up to this now the 20 the 21 21 years old all right so let's go into the packaging right yeah. so let's look at the old packaging first mm. let me put this aside and old packaging blue canister it's metal cap metal bottom it looks really regal, really nice. Yeah. Um, it just, it has a look to it. It really has a look to it, right? It just, and normally you just pop the metal lid up and you pull the bottle up, right? You get this bottle inside. So um, one of the things that comes inside of this canister is this envelope. And inside the envelope is a certificate of authenticity, right? So in the certificate, it says, Captain Estate, age 21 years, Jamaica, Certificate of Aging. This certifies that each individual numbered bottle has been aged in oak barrels for a minimum of 21 years. And there's a nice embossed seal right there, right? So really great um, mm -hmm. presentation, really nice authentic certificate in this envelope here. It's just, it's really official. I really mm -hmm. appreciate the fact that Appleton spend so much time right on their packaging yeah and i really really appreciate that definitely like uh it even tell you like the year of the bottle so this was a uk bottle right they give you the bottle number zero two one six nine bottle in 2017 the proof right it's um 43 volume alcohol and this is the 700 cl bottle right it gives you a little background this ultimate luxury rum is a rare product of the Appleton Estate, where the rum has has been estate distilled and handcrafted since 1749. Around the label here has a nice depiction of the plantation itself of the estate. So really nice on the packaging, nice thick glass on the bottom, yeah. wooden cork on the top. Um, just a really good quality. They even have it stamped on the top with Appleton Estate um, signature right there. Right, so just really great on the packaging so yeah. that's the old bottle right and you should be able to find these on the shelves they're about 140 sometimes you can get them yeah. all the way down to 120 20, yeah. but so 120 to 150 the typical price i find it for is 140 right so that's the old packaging old bottle then we have the new the new comes in this box right here really nice really modern sharp edges um nice kind of you know, embossing on the side with the design of the Appleton Estate, um, all on this side. It's just really good packaging. Gold leaf um, is all the writing. It's a nice darker blue than the previous one. Mm -hmm. And then it just pops with all the gold, right? 
and then you open it with a little pull tab on the side right here pop it open and that's where the butter usually sits right so usually that's kind of what it looks like right there right mine's has a little bit extra gold leaf and butterfly and stuff that's because this is a gift for father's day uh, from my mother-in-law so it's a little extra there's a little mm. extra stuff <laughs> on the interior of mine right this is my first father's day so this was gifted to me and i was able to enjoy it on father's day this year so really nice packaging of that this also comes as a certificate comes with this smaller one here again the matching dark blue and then inside they have a certificate that tells you um you know that this certifies the rum is 21 years right um bit cleaner just nice thick stock um, mm -hmm. that was more of a thick paper but this is like solid very card stock yeah, yeah card stock this isn't paper thick paper so this thick card stock on the back of both of them also have tasting notes so we'll go through do our own tasting and then get to some tasting notes sounds good so i think the last thing is just the bottle um this bottle here it's pretty similar to the new bottles um, in shape and size and everything. It's a bit thicker on the glass on the bottom, I believe. And oh man, this cork on the top, it is thick like brass or something, like copper. Really thick, very heavy. Feel that. Like. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah. This is like. You can knock somebody out with yeah. this, man. This is like a metal slug that is formed yeah. into this nice smooth you shape. feel like it's solid all the way through. Yeah, man. solid. Solid, solid. This is. Wow. It's like I was about to crack the butter right there. <laughs> but this right here is like a solid metal formed into that shape. Mm. Um, really pretty. So that's pretty much what the bottles look like. Um, you know, you pick up this, any one of these at any liquor store, I think you'll be happy. I recommended this to one of the directors at my company. Um, they're going to give something, a gift to one of their friends for a housewarming. I was like, hey, Appleton 21 beautiful packaging anyone who just who likes premium products they would like how this thing is presented all right so i like it yeah definitely 10 out of 10 packaging. packaging all right so let's just pull the packaging out of the way for the second and you know we're gonna have to try to get to enjoy the rums we're gonna take yeah. away the old one because we are just gonna use the new one for this video all right awesome. so yeah you know Comparing the corks, yeah, I don't know if the wood mm -hmm. is more appealing to me, like the the design of this, yeah, versus the metal. Now the metal is very good, yeah, but somewhere somehow this is a little bit more appealing so, to me. Side by side, I would switch it. You want to put the the wood I would put the wood on. cork on the new button. All right, well, see that's the thing. Like, so just think about the packaging itself. Mm. This packaging. The metal, the, the bright copper color, it yeah. really matches that modern look of yeah. the new It box, does, it does. Right? Compared to how this, the wood, just the, the elegance, the shape, it's more rounded. It really, to me, matches yeah. the elegance. But that kind of feels almost like a, a leather on the outside of that box mm -hmm. compared to, you know? So this wood, the, 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 the oval box, the kind of leather feel yeah. on the outside, really to me matches what this is I see, I and see. this more matches what that is you know so like yeah. this just goes all modern yeah with the modern they, they go box. together they go together and then bring bring that one back for a second yeah, yeah. and then this one here yeah it has a more it feels more like a more leathery yeah. feel on the outside it really looks like it's wrapped in a leather and it's patterned that's true and you know it's embossed and on the front yeah. you know rare limited edition on the sides this information in the back that has like a yellow paper on it which is pretty much like a thick, you know, paper stock again. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's embraided on the side here. So there's a lot that's, there's just a lot. There's a lot that is here right. that is just stick to the traditional. I so can see. Wood. Yeah. I can't see. Yeah, all right. It, can, yeah. it makes sense. Right? Yeah, it, it makes sense. sense. All right. I can't so, see. All right. So we're comparing. We showed you exactly what the differences are on the packaging. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to get to the ROM itself. Again, minimum of 21 right we did the 15 yeah. review the 12 review the 8 we review the signature uh most time for the 21. Yeah. so this is officially the oldest aged mm -hmm. rum that i've ever drank i think all right don't worry because we got some rarer ones out there yes for him to try in the future right yeah. um soon to come 
you know I'm big on my Apple tons. So I actually got the 1995 Apple Ton Hearts collection and that will be reviewed soon. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Subscribe yeah. guys because you're gonna miss out on what I'm doing this new stuff. I'm supposed to get other samples of the 1994 and also the 1999. Yeah. So I'm definitely gonna be dropping those videos coming soon, right? So yeah, I'm, I'm a lover of vintage. All right. So, so he's kind of contradictory. He's a lover of vintage, <laughs> but he don't like them too woody, right? Yeah, I don't like, I'm not a wood man, right. but I like vintage stuff. Okay, but so, no, but, you know, you know, the, the, the latest from Appleton Estate is now the 1984, right? Which yeah, is what, 37 that. years old? Yeah, I would appreciate that. 37 years old. At that point in time, it must be, you know, a bit woody. Yeah. It's been in the bar for so long. We'll and see. Woodsy? We'll see. We, oh, okay, we'll see. I yeah, got you. I we'll see. You. So, the next one came out, the 1984, new limited edition. I think 5,000 bottles are out there. And it's a thousand dollars a pop. Just keep. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I try to stick within a certain range. Yeah. So I don't know if it will fly off the shelf and into my hands. I feel it. I feel it. Like that's that. When I heard the price, I was like, oh boy. So to give you reference, the the 1999 is about $225. Mm -hmm. The nineteen, I think two two fifty. Sorry, two fifty for the nineteen ninety nine, two seventy five. No, I like last correction, two thirty for the nineteen ninety nine, mm -hmm. two seventy five for the nineteen ninety five, and three hundred for the nineteen ninety four. That's the first three of the Hearts collection. Okay, right. I know they brought the nineteen eighty four and the nineteen. I'm sorry, the 2003. I think the 2003 is still a bit expensive too. I can't remember the price in 2003, but I'm positive the 1984 is a $1,000 a pop. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm ever going to get a full bottle of that. Hopefully someone will provide me a sample and a review for you guys. <laughs> but man, $1,000, I don't know. I just, yeah. I can't convince my wife on that one. Yeah, that would so, be a tough sell. It's a tough sell. All right, but... We had this poem, we have it open for a while. Now I've drunk this once before for my father's day. I haven't drank it again because I really wanna I wanna make this this rum really like a signature that I drink every father's day just to celebrate the booth of my wife. But for you guys, I'm gonna review it. You know, I have other bottles here, but this one's really my special bottle. And I opened it because you know I really wanna enjoy the gift that was given to me. Alright? But call on this. I like it. It's amber. Dark rich it is a rich it is it is almost as copper as yeah. the cover which kind of makes sense yeah. you know it, it is a copper amber color the the rum is really close to that it, it really yeah. just it, it matches very very well yeah all right it so is color beautiful. is beautiful on the legs it is pretty thick but mm -hmm. it is moving so it's not too thick i could see them coming down there slowly some are forming quicker than others but yeah pretty good legs so i'm expecting a pretty good mouth feel as well and mind you a lot of the things i learned about the legs and the color and you know the, the things that I, a lot of the, the little bases i learned on rum tasting i i got it from experiencing the appleton rum experience at mm -hmm. the estate right so anytime you guys are in jamaica rum lovers make your way up to appleton estate the tour is amazing there's a donkey crusher, the cane showing the old school ways. You go into the warehouse, you see the aging process, you see barrels there from 1988 and all that kind of stuff. So I'm sure they could bring out more of this right. collection. They brought the 84, right? But I knew, I know, I know, I know I saw a 1988. I saw a couple of barrels of that. So that definitely could be coming to the shelves in the next series of hard collections that they're doing, right? And these are all like limited edition, 5,000 barrels. 5,000 bottles, sorry, right? So it's a mm -hmm. few barrels, 5,000 bottles that you usually get with every release. Right. And the Hearts Collection took over a year to, came to come to America officially. 
Right. So America, we're we're behind on Europe. Europe get gets these things way ahead of time, <laughs> and they're like, oh, you know, what didn't sell fast enough in Europe, they they feel sorry and they, they throw us away. <laughs> you know, but send some away. Yeah, but definitely much appreciated on the the uh, I much very much appreciated. Sorry, the experience of going to the tour at the Appleton Estate. They also sell rare bottles there sometimes, mm. twenty five VA and different things like that. They had a journey that was there, sold out, was five hundred dollars a bottle. Right. Um, definitely rare, um, and they're gonna release some other things like the Joy is coming out with another Joy bottle. So there was the Joy several years ago, and now they're gonna bring another one to celebrate Joy once again. So never forget, guys, stay subscribed because I'm gonna drop this information on my YouTube channel, in my story post, and or on my Instagram. All right, ready, set, rum. All right, guys. So let's go to the nose. Hmm orange so rich it's rich it's orange it almost want to burn your nose a little bit yeah it's a little hot on the nose which is surprising the orange smell <clears throat> is more intense so funny yeah. enough when i just opened it tasted it did not taste much orange nose to me it reminded me closer to the 12 a bit less on the orange a bit more mm. on the molasses a bit more on the 12 close to the 12 not more but this now on the nose to me smells close to the 15 but richer on the 15 more fruits more the oranges there but then the rich thick you know prunes and stuff like those yeah. fruity your christmas cake type of stuff mm -hmm. you're getting some of that like no like funny enough you're not smelling the rum on it you're just smelling the fruits on it Whereas yeah. in the Christmas cake, we smell more of the alcohol true boy very good very good on i don't know if i get in a like a oaky kind of smell on it too. Like you could almost smell the barrel itself, you know? It's weird on there, but it's there. There's a hint. Yeah, yeah, it's down there. And that's that same mm. orange, citrusy. Citrus you for a little apricot. You know, so we're doing all this without checking the tasting notes yeah. on this, right? So first, we'll tell you what we think, right? Because mm. one knows and as trained as Dr. Joy Spence, and yeah. many of the other professionals are up to the state but we're gonna give you what the average guy who drinks rum regularly yeah right the guy who drinks rum and, 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 and you know hey, we're all about honest reviews honest reviews right honest so. reviews here so we're giving you what we smell and then we're gonna tell you what they smell and we're gonna try to compete because we also try to train on those yeah to get better all right so so i know you said that the you get the oak mm -hmm. like we don't down. yeah i get it higher up mm. for some reason okay like so, that's when when i s start smelling it some more that's the first um note that kind of jumping out to me the kind of barrel like i'm, I'm smelling it's like an experience mm. you're smelling the barrel that the rum was made in. a little vanilla yeah orange vanilla some fruits and then the barrel back yeah. all right that's enough on the nose mm -hmm. let's get some tasting i definitely want to add some water afterwards to see how it opens it up yeah. yeah that is strong way more wood on the palate compared to the nose struggling to find on the nose way more wood on the palate you want to hear something what's up i am the opposite right now really <laughs> I don't know. I found it on the nose. Yeah. And I'm struggling to find it on the palate. No, man. Something's wrong with this guy. This guy's like, he maybe. Some like lemons or something. Hybrid. Started. Hybrid. Hybrid. But it's dry. What is good it's wood that what you get, mm -hmm. I get the opposite of. Yeah. That just, it lets me know that is, uh, is there's good versatility in the rum. Like yeah. everybody's experience may not be the same. be different Correct. when they're drinking it. Correct. And that to me is a kind of telltale sign of a really good blended rum. Correct. So, you know? for me, woody, dry, slightly bitter. The woody just lingers from start to finish. The sweetness, everything kind of just passes over my palate. Right? So, it has a really nice warmth that when it hits your tongue, there's a warmth there. Mm that it goes when you start swallowing but then it doesn't just vanish 
once you swallow mm. it just kind of simmers there in your yeah. mouth it, it is a nice 100 percent sipping rum don't mix this with anything so in my mouth i'm going to dry woodiness as i swallow it just hits me a bright sweet note yeah sweet. there's a there's a hint a sweet honey note that just it quickly just comes and goes mm. and then the dry bitter finish lingers um definitely add a little mm. little cough full on this just to see let me cough full just a little, yeah, little add bit it into of, yeah because yeah, right. sometimes you add a you add a little bit of water opens up gets a little brighter things happen so definitely want to taste it that way yeah. we definitely have to pour some more to go over the notes from joyce <laughs> right i agree so on the nose a bit more wood shows up when I add the water for me. Yeah. A lot more wood shows I'm up. I'm sad now starting to get the all the other things uh, like mm. the fruit right. and the citrus is coming through more. Yeah, this guy's very opposite to me right now. Yeah. Um but, but that's good. Me. Getting more wood. Getting more yeah. fruits. It's nice. Let's taste it again. Getting more of the flavours, a lot more flavours, a lot more the lighter notes like the the citrus mm. like because i've drank so much of it already yeah like now i'm just getting the alcohol mm. but so the citrus flavors mm. is not really playing with my palate anymore okay i'm getting the alcohol i'm getting the the oakiness the wood mm -hmm. and uh, i think you mentioned like some apricot or yeah. something like that so i'm starting to get those flavors coming through now okay so I'm getting, I don't it's reminding me, there's a little hint there of a kind of, maybe the pots is showing up a bit more. Give me a mm. little bit of a vibe, kind of like a, a Woolsey Park single estate. Yeah. Mm. This is very good. Lots of flavor. Lots of flavor. It's, yeah. it's good. It's, honestly, so when I first tried it, I don't think I liked it as much as I like mm -hmm. it now. I felt like just a little more aeration. I let it sit for a little bit. Yeah. Um, but I opened this quite back in June for Father's Day. And honestly, like, guys, I kid you not. Tasting a rum when it just opened and tasting a rum after it's been after open. After it's been open, it changes. It's two different things. I, I yeah. people, a lot of people, they don't believe me, I don't know why. But just for a guy, I've been I got tons of rum and sometimes I like it. I, I like it a bit when I open it. Yeah. A couple months later, man, this thing tastes great. A couple months later, man, I really like Changes, it. Changes, yeah. But there's flavors that really develop in the more oxidation. And honestly, some people really believe because some people give me a hard time mm. when I compare bottles when one's been open for a long time and one hasn't been open. Yeah. All right. And I'm going to do another review like that. Don't come for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, but yeah, this really this, has been... This is good. So, as you know, mm -hmm. I've been playing with the idea. I keep saying, I have to get one, I have to get one, yes. I have to get one. I keep looking and, you know, like we mentioned before, price point. Yeah. You know, it's skirting the 120 to 150. Right. It's skirting that range. And I think for the age, number mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. the rarity of it... Mm -hmm. I think this one get it you know this nice sipping rum i like those type of you sit pour a glass sit and sip this All is right, it guys so i'm gonna go through some of the tasting notes on this one bouquet and flavor profile reveals a floral scent that develops into a unique mature nutty bouquet with notes of deep vanilla mellow orange peel rich nutmeg vibrant almond warm coffee and cocoa hmm. finish long dry luscious finish definitely long dry i don't know what luscious is yeah i don't know how luscious tastes you know to describe but, luscious um so definitely got the i got the vanilla got the orange yeah. peel um nutmeg so what i'm looking for the toffee i could get the toffee and the cocoa the coffee so and cocoa sorry is more but like nutmeg i didn't really get and then so vibrant they, almond are they hinting towards a bit uh maybe that's the kind of spiciness burn that you're feeling kind of so because it does have that but nutmeg noise are like a flavor like normally you get a nutmeg flavor yeah, i 
don't know. I it's something you. there. I won't really call that nutmeg, but maybe it is. Nutmeg and almond. I'm not getting those two things. No. I'm not really getting that flavor. Um, coffee. The sorry, coffee, cocoa. I'm getting the yeah, the citrus is definitely like, citrus. Got that. Yeah. Vanilla. Got that. Um, the nutty bouquet with the nutmeg and almond. I don't know. Mm. Mm. I guess you know it's one of those it's one of those rums where you may not get everything mm. but you like how we tasted it first say what we got mm-hmm. then we read it right and we know that we got some of the things and yeah. then maybe as you taste it you know you, tr- you start playing with those flavors mm. and it comes to you eventually yeah maybe that's what it is because right now the last couple of flavors they talk about there, yeah. uh, I ain't getting it. I got it. All right. So that doesn't mean that it is not yeah. very good. Different people get different things. As you can see, him and I kind of got opposites on a mm-hmm. lot of things. Um, but definitely a good rum. Definitely yeah. great packaging. Um, so usually we go through and we say, must try, yeah. must buy, must have. Where do you list this? Buy it. Buy it. Yeah. The must buy. Don't hesitate. Like, All right. when you go... So this is my thing, mm-hmm. right? There is going to be a day where right. somebody out there is going to say, you know what, I need to go grocery shopping, mm-hmm. right? Usually, there are liquor stores around where major supermarkets are. Correct. You need to go and find this when you go to grocery shop. Right. Stop by a, maybe, I don't know if Total Wine might have Yeah, it. Total Wine has it. Total, Total Wine, ABC. Total Wine was one of the first people in America to carry this new bottle. Mm. Like you could really get it in Jamaica, it was just released, and boom, it was in total white. Yeah. Like within a week. So yeah. long story short, bite. But like don't I don't think we need to go through must buy, must try, bite. Yeah, bite. Bite. It um, worth the hundred and you're not gonna, you're gonna, yeah, you're not gonna just drink it out, right? Yeah. After you pay a lot of money. So bite, enjoy it. Sip it slowly. Enjoy. You know? Yeah, it's good. So it's good. So alright, but you and I Mm-hmm. Try the 15, try the 12, yeah. try the 8, all these kind of things, right? Mm-hmm. So the 15 is $65. Yeah. This is $144. Mm-hmm. Which one will you pick up first? So that's the thing, because. <laughs> well, I want one, one in my collection. Correct. The right. only reason why I, I don't the only reason why I don't have one in my collection is procrastination. Right. I just I will get it eventually. Gotcha. Right? Mm-hmm. So, because the 15 is less money, right. and I will probably find it mm-hmm. anywhere I go, right. I will just grab a 15. Right. Or grab two. Right. You know? But you're getting two for, for the, the price, price of one. one. Exactly. Right. But, so. regardless of where it sits at price, yeah. if I feel very inclined to, yes. I buy it. All right. So, that's the thing. I would buy a definitely not must buy yeah right must buy you're not gonna drink it all fast but you spend spend so much money on it right mm-hmm. so i agree with that i agree with that like yeah. you, you you gotta have one in your collection um you know the presentation the packaging the tasting notes very good mm-hmm. very good tasting notes um this is not something that you could get for 50 bucks yeah right 140 is a bit steep you know uh, I'll add a 10 more to, to 100, one, <laughs> one, 120, you know. You're trying to make it seem not too bad for the people. I, I'm just saying, like, no, it's good. It's good. But, man, that price hurts, right? That yeah. price really hurts on that, that 140 price. Yeah. There but, are some people who decide that, look, I'm not going to spend more than $100 yeah. on a bottle of rum. There are some people, their budget is a little more than that. Correct. There are some people, their budget is way more than that. Right. And that's why I put it as a must buy and not a must have because to me, you must get a bug, you must really enjoy it and yeah. experience it. Packaging, you're not going to drink it all fast. A must have to me is more like it's going to be continued buying bottles, you're going to be sipping yeah. this thing, you're going to just be enjoying it. And you this shouldn't be too high. Yeah, you shouldn't product. be finishing this no. in six months. No, no, this isn't going to be know? finished. All right, this is probably like this is probably the last time I'm going to take this out until Father's Day. Yeah. Right? And you're not pouring it. I did it for you guys. 
I did it for you guys, yeah. right? It's not gonna happen again. See how important you guys you are. You guys are guy. very important, right? You can to us, get to another the channel. One. Yeah. Trust me, because next I'm gonna be popping the Appleton Estate 1995. Just for you guys. You can't find another one like All this. Alright, so like, comment, subscribe. Alright, keep the channel growing, sharing. Mm -hmm. Um another good review, another yeah. great rum. Mm -hmm. Bring you more content on a weekly basis. Yeah. All right, guys. I like this one. This was a good one. It's a good one. Yeah. Cheers. Till next time.